We got another great video for you today. We are pulling some eggs and uh, I know it's kind of everybody's doing the hatching and stuff like that. So we got new eggs and we'll give you guys some updates. So stay tuned. So we're just doing some feeding here on Saturday. It's not our original filming day, so this is off the cuff. And uh, we got some eggs from our super fire girl. So she's super fire plus a bunch of possible other stuff. Look at that nasty to this. Wow. The egg looks like it's gonna be good. Crunchy. All right, so this is the first time for this girl. So, and she took a dump in there. That's interesting. Wow. That is some, that is, uh, hmm. She was incubating that dump and not the egg. That was a, that's weird. That is the strangest thing I've ever seen. We've never had that happen. They are shaped like eggs. <laughs> Something, <laughs> I, uh, I don't even know what to say. We're gonna have to, I think we're going to have to wipe those off. <laughs> it's going to smell pretty bad over 60 days. It kind of smells bad now. That's a very odd thing to happen. You okay? Jeez Louise. She is, looks empty. From my point of view. Well. Um. Yeah. So. Here's your weirdness for the day. So we got four eggs. I mean, where did the wipes go? <laughs> the wipes? We're gonna have yeah. to, like, I can't paper towel this off. Uh, so we got four looking okay eggs. Thanks a lot, Sam and Phil, Powerline Reptiles. <laughs> and one slug and one the heck? This is crappy egg. This isn't even coming off. I do not know how to deal with this. This is nine <laughs> years of eggs. And uh, you're catching my first reaction. I didn't see this beforehand. <laughs> so this is a reaction video. <laughs> oh my lord. It's not coming off, dude. Um, and the wipes that Ryan's using are <laughs> just baby wipes unscented so that it's just water and saline really so we don't use chemicals um really to do there's no anything here there's no blood so like it's possible like you think maybe they could like rupture during the process right i don't know that is a crappy but situation this is so it was obviously in the middle of laying yeah. <laughs> yeah, because what? Oh, that's funny. So, honestly, guys, I don't know if these are going to make it because there's a lot of scrub as I might. This stuff's not coming off. Man. So, this is going to be an experiment that we're going to have. We'll keep you updated on uh, how this one shakes out. This is the crappiest litter of the season, <laughs> the crappiest clutch of the season. Mm-hmm. And one of the eggs is kind of a boob egg. It's a very odd shape. So Don't lick it. It smells so bad. Look, let's get a close up of the shape of that one. It has a very odd... And the whole thing almost just looks like a window. It's like translucent, that whole side. And they are pretty soft, it looks like. So they're still uh, pretty fresh. That must She must have done that this morning. Well, I checked last night, and there's nothing going on, so... Yep, and it's just the afternoon here on the 4th of July. So, we'll see how this goes. We're going to have to candle them, and uh, I guess maybe we can try cleaning them again in, uh, in a couple weeks when they, or in a week or so, when they start to harden a little bit. Am I, am I in frame? Are you watching yeah. what's going on? I am watching. This looks infertile. Oh. I don't see veins in that one. Hmm. 
Well, no. Upside down. The veins are down here. Oh, smells awesome. Hope they don't rip. So as you can see, you can see the veins. Oh yeah, there's a bit of a window that you can see. That's really crazy. <laughs> this is such a funny clutch. That one has good veins. Let's see. Um, can you handle the brown one? Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is one they don't tell you about, guys. This is... Has any of this, have anybody, have, do you know anybody or have seen or has it happened to you? Has this ever happened? Guys, talk to me here. Comment down below. Comment down below. Because this is, <laughs> how many clutches do you think we've had over the years, Ben, without um, looking at the notes? Without looking at the notes? Uh, 120, I don't know, something like that maybe. This has never happened before. <laughs> my point we've done a good bit not a lot i mean look, definitely people do more than us but um that is a poop right it's a poop shaped egg it's not a <laughs> like completely chocolate coated it, there could be something in there i think you should dig into it i think you should get in there it's hard here we have a whale glimpse of the poop smith in his natural habitat pretty nasty if you ask me Ooh, that's dense. She, you know, because they go off feed for so long. I don't know what you're doing right now. <laughs> but, oh, that stinks. <laughs> they go off feed for so long. So she was <laughs> had that poop incubating in her. <laughs> building. She was building follicles, but it was a poop. Yeah, when I palpated her, I thought there was going to be eight eggs. Um, Apparently it's... So... <laughs> Uh, this yeah. one's rough, man. <laughs> this is a weird, weird <laughs> thing to happen. Like we said, we're gonna take you on the ups and downs. So uh, <laughs> this is, I don't know what this is. This is a loopy loop, isn't it? Guys, a turd egg was ridiculous. It was pretty rough to to see, and so we filmed that a, you know a couple days ago, and we're still talking about it because it's something I haven't seen anybody that happened to anybody. It smelled terrible. I don't know if you guys noticed. But I was playing with the turd a little bit, like it was a Cadbury egg. I was looking to find the egg inside there. Like, I'm like, the chocolate cover comes off and there's an egg in there. It looked like a shape of two eggs, did it not? It did I'm not look, crazy. It did. No, you're crazy, but that well, did look like two eggs. I don't know what I was trying to find in there, but... It was a uh, very Jurassic Park of you. It was for science. It was Jurassic Park where you're like reaching in to see if there's anything in there. <laughs> So guys, make sure you comment down below. Let us know if this has ever happened to you because we've never heard of it happening, so. I've never seen it. Maybe it's happened, I don't know. Uh, we can't be the first, right? That seems odd. It was real weird. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't incubate those two eggs. <laughs> the poop eggs he's talking about. The other eggs he incubated. Yeah, they're still kicking. They haven't molded over, so I don't know. I don't think we should cut that clutch, honestly. Just let it go? Cause like it's covered in poop, so like you're gonna cut it, and there's gonna be bacteria from out outside the egg and get in there. I feel like we just gotta let that one free ball it. All right, I'm excited to see what that one is though too, cause that was a lot of genes that could be possible in that female. So hard to say, cause it's a super fire. So to end this video, guys, we didn't want it to be real crappy. <laughs> So we're gonna show you guys a couple things that we have a little update on. So we have an update on our red stripe pet clown. This is red stripe pet clown female. It's beautiful looking. Ryan, why don't you tell us about red stripe? As you can see, it has a red stripe. <laughs> I don't know why they call it red stripe. I don't particularly see red in it. Obviously, a nice uh, example of it will have the dorsal stripe. You have the melty, sort of chocolatey, sort of drips coming down here. This one, uh, in my opinion, is a, a high quality example of it because you can find some red stripes that almost look normal, um, which I'm not trying to get down like that. But 
she's still young uh, so she's got some time but if uh, you guys are in the Red Shirt Project let us know what your uh, plans are mm-hmm you just showed that one last video I know it's my favorite <laughs> so we uh, both picked uh, <laughs> a snake that we wanted to show off and I know I'm kind of showing one of the ones that I did uh, not that long ago but she's just great chocolate trick black pastel that's right that's right gentlemen that's right gentlemen. ladies and gentlemen that's right so Ryan you were saying what do you want to do this girl is putting on a lot of size and she's going to be ready for November this is a pastel mahogany head clown female and I'm really torn I don't know if Ben's going to come in and get b-roll or not so I'm going to get up close to let you look at her a little bit but um I'm really torn about what way to go with this project because there's a balance here because this isn't just a hobby for us it's a business and it costs a lot of money so like you have to kind of balance like your passion and hobby side of it and things that you want to do with also decent financial decisions right so right now mahogany clown stuff is you know twenty five hundred three thousand dollars an animal that you could buy a lot of feeder rides for that you know what i mean but you know our our only visual clown male that we have is just a killer leopard clown it would give us better odds of hitting clown, mahogany clown combos that we could hold some back obviously and put some up for sale and help pay the bills but there's not a lot of exciting genes in that it'd be kind of like sure a killer leopard mahogany clown i'll probably look awesome mm. but if i put it to one of the hats that we have that have like four genes plus het clown it would have way less odds on hitting the visual clown but you could hit like no a fun. ridiculous visual clown if the odds are with you so i'm like torn i don't know what to do you know like, what i want to do you want to make money <laughs> well i mean yeah but it would be real fun for me if we did one of the leopard pastel leopard arroyo het clowns yeah if they're big enough if a male is big enough by then we will have a male close we will have a male big enough to do that but then you're talking about one in four just at the clown sure but and arroyo it, and anything, mahogany anything that doesn't hit is or doesn't hit is only 66 percent pos hat clown mm. which makes it a little tougher you know what i mean so i know it may be like an easy thing to say like hey what would you do and you're like yeah do what's fun but like like seriously like if you were in this position what would you do like let us know i'm curious to hear your reasoning yeah so be detailed absolutely all right well thank you guys so much for watching and uh you know <laughs> show us what you got you guys need to interact with us more we uh we want to we want to hear more about you guys and, and from you guys so interact i we've been getting emails and text messages and uh it's been great but we want more we, we want to be pestered <laughs> and greedy um and so thank you so much make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for us it uh really helps us out as well as the notification bell and if you like this video give us a little thumbs up if you really did give it. it a thumbs down i don't care it's all interaction yeah it's true i guess helps us with the algorithm <laughs> share it with your friends share it with your friends all right thank you guys so much uh, what does my face look like? Is this doing it? No, it's like the same face you always have. Ah, ah. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, uh. Walt Flanagan's Walt Flanagan. Dude, he's halfway to buy me toys by now. Uh. Come on. He used to be cool. <sighs> Alright, thank you guys so much. Poop egg. <laughs> Poop egg 2020. We should make take, shirts. Yes. <laughs> we should make shirts. That would be awesome. This girl's my favorite. You have to clip out that part oh, where I pull like, off the clutch eggs and there's a turd egg under there and then that's the shirt. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. It's not the worst idea you've ever had. We'll do a limited rock. Make sure you guys watch Her Palace Rocks. Bob Ashley and Brian Potter come up next.